this button here on my switchboard turns on this geezer in my bathroom. But problem with me is that after a long refreshing bath, I forget to turn it off, resulting in unused hot water, excess electricity bill, and above all, scolding from family members. Hence, I created this. This circuit turns off geezer after a predefined amount of time using an actuator. Let's get into the details so that if you have a problem similar to mine, you can make one for yourself. To turn on or to turn off a switch, we need an actuator. I used a micro servo motor for this purpose. To take user input on when to turn on geezer and for how long, I used a touch button and a potentiometer. Well, as always, we need a brain for this system and I decided to use my favorite Arduino Pro Mini for its small form factor and lightweight. To power this circuitry, I used an 18650 lithium ion battery along with a 5V boost converter. Now that we have gone through main components of this mini project, let's take a look at schematic. On left we have 18650 lithium ion battery along with 5V boost converter. Servo motor signal wire connects to pin 3 of Arduino. VCC connects to RAW and ground to ground terminal of Arduino Pro Mini. Touch sensor is powered through VCC and ground pin with signal pin connected to pin number 2 of Arduino Pro Mini. Finally, potentiometer connects to VCC and ground with variable resistance terminal connecting to A0 pin of Arduino Pro Mini. Well, now that we have hardware figured out, let's talk about software, which is an Arduino code. In Arduino code for this mini project, I decided to use slip modes and interrupts to reduce circuit's current consumption when it is idle. This resulted in code that jumps here and there in execution. Let's take a look at flowchart instead of code. It will allow me to explain better. And as always, you can find links to GitHub repository for all required ingredients, including code, in the description. Initially, we have some setup part. Then we move servo to turn off geezer. We activate external interrupt, which is connected to touch button, and then we go to sleep. On occurrence of this external interrupt, we turn on geezer and deactivate external interrupt, followed by taking potentiometer reading and again going to sleep after activating timer interrupt. Once required time is over, we deactivate timer, turn off geezer, and start the cycle again. That's all this circuit is doing. Once hardware and software were ready, I took an L-shaped perf board and assembled everything on it with the help of few female connectors and soldering iron. Once I was done with assembly, it was time for a first test run. And guess what happened? It worked like a charm. Later I used some glue gun to secure connections on 5V boost converter and finally we are ready for deployment. As mine is a rented property, instead of drilling, I used double sided tape to stick all my circuitry near the button. So there we have it, a system that can turn on your geezer with a touch and turn off after a certain amount of time. So next time when your mother, father, wife, girlfriend, mother-in-law, father-in-law or anybody asks you to turn off geezer or even tube light or a fan after use, you will know what to say. So that's it guys, if you like this video please consider sharing and subscribing to this channel. I'll be back with another mini project soon, till then take care.